guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to teach you about the sea and uh, one of the most important part about the sea is that uh, it's portable meaning that it can uh, be installed in different uh, platform number two it is widely used in uh, the operating system game development and also the networking number three it's a low level control number four it's efficiency it allows the writing of code easily unlike other languages and lastly it is the foundation of other languages for example the c plus plus python javascript among others so before you attempt this assignment the hello world the introduction of the c ensure that uh, you go through the material that has been uh, provided so that you have uh, some basics of uh, the c so the general objective of this lesson is to ensure that uh, you are able to, to to write some simple c commands using the following instructions or rather the requirements so these are the things that you're supposed to do number one you need to ensure that uh, you use the vi or the vim or the emacs number two all your file will be compiled on ubuntu using the gcc using the option wall wero extra pentic std all your files should end with a new line. Uh, next step, you must read me file at the root of the repo containing, containing the description of the repo. Number four, you must read me file at the root of the folder at this project containing the description of the project. The next point, you should uh, not, there should be no error. Or warning during the violation then uh, you are not allowed to use the system and uh, lastly your code should use the betty style it will be checked using the betty style dot pl and uh, betty dash duck dot pl then uh, these are the things that uh, you require you can go through them if we have the vim bi emacs and uh, the last part all your files should end with a new line and note this one this one is the most important part the first line of your file should be exactly like this the bin bash then uh, more then uh, the next part there's more information which you still need to do before you dive into the assignment number one you need to go to betty repository so you need to click on this file then the next part you clone the repo to your local machine next part you cd into the betty directory for you install the linter with the sudo dot install dot sh and lastly you vi or he makes a new file called betty and you copy the script below so let me start uh, with this one so i will click uh, betty there it will take to it will take me to my github account on the github account i'm supposed to extract the code so this is my betty so you can see we have the man the test the license the readme the betty dot betty style betty sh install sh and test among others so what i'm supposed to do i will extract the code from uh, this point just as you can see so this is my 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 code so i will copy this one it's already copied then uh, next step we have what we have already done we are through with our point one this part okay now let's move to point number two clone the repo to your local machine you 
clone the repo to your local machine. For you to do that, you need now to open your your search box, then the web terminal. Then I'll go back to where I left. So we are on this point. We're supposed to clone the repo to your local machine. And remember, we had copied the, the code from the Betty. So this is my Alex, and then we have the name of the repo. So remember, we had copied this one. Don't forget that. Then you open your web terminal. Then uh, you type uh, git git clone. Then you paste your code. Okay, since I'm already I've already created the I've already cloned the repo, that's why it's showing me this error. So let me try to, to give the listing. So don't worry about that. So the next step you're supposed now to CD Betty directory. So I will click I type C D, then there goes my Betty. This is the the bit that we are talking about okay then uh, you take me to this point so you, no such file exists and uh, this is the file so it's supposed to show the file Okay, I've already corrected that part. And remember why it's showing this uh, error? It's because uh, this is capital B, well, this is other part is small b. So of course it will bring the, the error, the error issue. Okay, so we are on this part. We have cd into Betty directory. Now the next step is to install the sudo, install the sudo install the sudo so for you to install the the linter you need to copy this small part then uh, go to your web terminal then you paste paste so you can see what will happen installing the man page updating then so we are through with our, that part number four then our number five we are supposed to be high the new file called betty and you copy the script that is below so i will be high betty then after that i'm supposed to be high I'm supposed to copy this file, the whole of it. Then, uh, having done that, I will paste on uh, this small part, then escape, colon, WQ, then I'm back. So, I think that I'm through with our first part. So, I think we are through with that one. Once saved, exit the file and change the permission to apply all with the CMOD. So, don't forget to go this part. So, copy this. Copy this. Then you paste. Paste. I've already done that. Then the next part, move the Betty file into bin directory and somewhere else in your path with the sudo mv bet. So for you to move uh, the bet file into bin directory or somewhere else in your path with, so copy this part just as it is. Copy this, then you paste on after the mode. You press. Then you paste. 
the enter button. It might take uh, some time, but uh, it's going to respond. Okay, I think that we are through with our, that part. Okay, for the quiz parts, these are the answers. They are very simple. We have uh, pre-processing, compilation, assembly linking. What are the common extension of the C end of supposed be dot H? Then which category belong to C programming supposed to be compiled language? Which command can I can be used to compile a C source supposed to be GCC? Then which of the following is valid for syntaxes for NSI? C and the Betty compliant supposed to be this one, the first one. And uh, this other one. Then the next part, what is the common extension for the C source code? Supposed to be dot C. Okay, let's move to now the task. Let me try to hide this one so that we can have uh, more space to work on the hard thing. Okay, so our number one, we are supposed to write a script that runs a C file through the pre-processors and they save the results into another file. So before doing that, we are supposed to open this ELX low level. Then uh, it's supposed to be the, okay, C, D, D, LS. So I'm supposed to be in my repo that is uh, ALX low level programming language. This one, so CD ALX dot low. Then use the tab to complete the remaining part. The ALS. Now on the ALS, I'm supposed to create a directory zero zero hello world. Now, since I've already created that directory, I will just show you how to go about it. For you to make a directory, you're supposed to use the command make directory mkdir. Then I'll paste the name of my directory. So let me assume that uh, the name of my directory is uh, 00 hello world 2. Since I have now the, the required one, this one. So I will use this one for the purpose of showing you how to go about it. So let me see if I've been able to. So having done that, I will try to open my, I will uh, open my new directory, this one, copy, paste. paste and before that don't forget to to read me to read me your your repo this part after that open open your new directory open your directory let me see what is ending inside so since it is empty you need now to read me read me dot md Okay, maybe let's have a read always. Maybe I sing it now. It's the message always read me your, your directory. And then escape colon wq. So I think we have already. Because as per the instruction, you are supposed to read me this part. Let me show you this part. So remember, you are supposed to have two read me. One for the repo. And two, the Hara read me is supposed to be at the full at the root of your folder of this project. Of which the folder is uh, the folder is supposed to be this one. Okay, having done that, now let's move to the next part, this one. Okay, what I'll do, I will uh, V high, V high, then I'll paste. Okay, so it take me to the next step. 
insert. Okay, let me go now to my my GitHub account. Then to my low level. Where is it? This one. To extract the codes because I had already prepared them. Remember, it's supposed to be for this one. Hello world. Hello world. So for number one, number one we have a zero pre-processor. And the question is, you are supposed to write a script that runs a C file through the pre-processor and you save the results into another file. Okay, let me see where it is. So number one is supposed to be pre-processor. Okay, let's try to extract the, the code. No, no, no. Let me go back. Mm, this part. So what I'll need to do, I will copy this part. Remember, we are told that uh, the instruction number one, you're supposed to have the bin, the bin bash. You're supposed to have a bin bash. But I will share this one. You don't have the reason to worry. I will share my, my link of my GitHub account for, for you to have an easy time extracting the codes. Okay, escape, V, I, W, Q, enter button. Then you move to the next part. The next part is supposed to be assignment number two, the compiler. You're supposed to write a script that compiles C file, but does not link. So this one, the compiler. So I'll copy this one. Copy this one, then I'll do the pasting, paste onto this part, enter button. Then on this part, go to, I'll go to my codes. So this is my code, I will copy this part. Then I will paste it here, then escape, colon, WQ, enter. Then I will be, I will be high, the next assignment, which is supposed to be the two assembler. The two assembler, where do I have to, okay, I will paste on this part. Then it will take me to the next part, enter button. Now number three, be high, then you copy, copy the link. Then you paste, enter button, insert, then you go to your co codes. So this is my code, so I'll copy it. Then I will paste it on my terminal. Then escape, colon, WQ. Okay, you do the same on number four, number five, number six and number seven, all the way to the remaining. What I'm trying to avoid is uh, to give you a chance for you to at least practice by yourself, but the procedure is the same. You just be high, then uh, the name of the file, then on the next step, you key in your codes. Okay, I will try to do the, the last the last two. And the last two, we have, um, okay, the last two, we have number seven, this number seven. So here goes my number seven. We are supposed to write a script that generates the assembly code. Of C code and save it in an output file. So as usual, go copy the name of your file, copy this, paste on this point, enter button, insert, insert, then I go copy my code. My code is supposed to be 100 and copy this one. Uh, 
enter button, uh, escape, then then the I, the last part, which is um, you write a C program that prints exactly, and uh, that piece of art is useful, Dora Copa. Okay, so this is the part, copy this, then you paste, paste here, enter button, insert your content, so our last part, okay, you copy, remember, we are supposed now to, to copy the all of it, let me see, copy, copy this, then you paste, you paste, paste it there, escape, double Q, okay, having done that, take some few minutes to, to do the remaining part, as I wait for you, so that you can move to the, the last bit. And the last bit is quite simple, where we are supposed to mod ex star. So we have a chmod a plus x enter button. Next step, try to release to see what will happen. So we have already, what we have done, we have made our file to be executable, inclusive of uh, the readme. Remember the rules? For you to get hard, we need to make uh, only the file to be executable with the exception of the readme. So how do you go about uh, making this uh, to be non-executable? So you use the mod a minus x, a minus x, then the read, read me, read me, enter button. Okay, let's try to list our thing. So you can see that uh, it has already changed from being executable to non-executable part. So that is also another very key part before you get had your assignment or you get had your codes. Okay, now having done that, so next part is to get had, and then you git commit, git commit, dash in. then uh, there should be a message somewhere. So most of the time I prefer to copy this one, the name of my, my task, which is supposed to be hello world. So let me write uh, hello, hello world, enter. So what I've done, I've uh, committed my code. Then the last part is to git push. Get push. So I think we are through. That's the simpler thing that we're supposed to do. So just take your time, go through the resources that we have been provided before doing the assignment. You will learn quite a lot rather than going ahead to do the whole assignment without uh, going through the material that you have been provided. So thank you once again for taking time to go through the, the video. I hope that you have learned from it. So kindly, don't forget to comment if you have any question. I will go through all the questions that I will get and uh, try to answer all of them. So make sure that you subscribe so that you can see the next video. So as you go through the codes, I will, uh, I will maybe run some uh, background music to be able to paint. So try to do your assignment.
So I will run all the calls as you watch so that you can have a sufficient time to copy as you learn. Thank you.